students welcome to the session of remote sensing and gis till now we have discussed about the various sensors which are used for capturing the images right we have talked about resource set we have talked about irs 1a the sensor is this right so how is data captured in the sensor and now in this session we are going to discuss about the data identification and technique for feature identification and feature attraction so till now we have gathered the data but now we are going to see that how is data identified what is the characteristic to identify the data and yes we are now going to see that what are the satellite image resolutions right that is very important to understand so let us discuss that what is the importance of data attraction and extraction right if data is not clear data is not properly visible then it is of no use to extract the data let us see in detail so now the very first thing today we are going to discuss is about the concept of observable characteristics now what do you understand by observable characteristics means here you can see i am going to show you here one figure now can you see here one figure what i have shown here yes this figure has a different color right green color might be seen as blackish color right brown color you can see right might be not clear but yes this is a satellite image and we need to find out the characteristics of each and every feature what you can see how can we identify that which feature is which so there is a main term which is used for the identification is known as signature right everybody has its own signature right has its own unique signature which cannot be copied so in the remote sensing concept of data extraction and data identification there is always a use of signature right now look at the clouds you can see the white substance can be seen in the image yes that is basically a cloud how can i tell that this is a cloud from the satellite image yes can you see below the cloud there is a shadow and cloud always has a shadow so when sensor was capturing the data cloud came in the between and that data is not useful anymore right so you can say the basic property which allows identification of the object is called signature you have to remember this definition because signature is basically for each feature there is a various various signatures right so for the cloud what is the signature shadow is the signature now you can see brown color green color blackish color right so what does that mean basically these are the things which fit the feature identification patterns texture you have to identify what does it shows now can you see the presentation background yes even the presentation background has some data into it so what it is what it is indicating so with all the pattern texture feature attraction we can know that what is the signature of each feature right now you can see here one image make yourself clear by looking to this image i guess you can make yourself clear look at the image can you see there are various features can be seen now look at it if there is a urban area if there is a construction patch can you see that you can make it out with your eyes that this is a construction patch yes light blue color can be seen into it black color is seen where there is a water so this is how if something contains water then it always shows as a black color so this is basically the concept of feature identification and that is known as signature so any set of observable characteristics which is directly or indirectly leads to the identification of object then it is known as feature identification right i guess you are now clear that how to identify the feature if there is a railway track going if there is a road construction if there is a pavement if there is a railway line if there is a canal you have to identify with the feature attraction that is by looking to the signature of it can you see in the second image that black color is something river like because it is seen as a river right so similarly this is how the character so this is the signature of river that river is always seen as a black color because water is present and water is always indicated as a black color right so this is how it can be 
seen and identified so we will go in detail in the next module also for the digital image processing but till now you have to remember the characteristics portion for the signature right that how is data extracted and featured right now the very important other topic is the image resolution and it's important what do you understand by image resolution you need to understand this in very detailed manner Basically, student, there are four types of resolution. If you can see here, there is spatial, spectral, temporal, and radiometric. Now, what do you understand by spatial? Right? Spatial, word spatial is related to space. When you want any data related to space, then it is called as spatial. Right? So, spatial resolution here indicates that how much detail what area can be identified by human eyes how much area our human eye can see is known as spatial resolution right so next you have the spectral what do you understand by spectral various numbers of band that is visible near infrared near far infrared right red blue green these are the bands which are present in the image that is known as spectral. For the black color, for the water body, there is one band design. For the urban region, for the canal identification, for that other band is designed. So that is known as spectral. When data has various numbers of band, it is known as spectral resolution. Right? Then you can see here the temporal resolution. What is temporal resolution? see here as the name itself suggests there is a temporary resolution present in it means what if i want to do the analysis of anything on some specific day or specific year or specific month like and i can do using the temporal analysis right that is known as temporal resolutions means the change detection you can see the change detection you can have the phenomenal changes with the temporal resolution right so every image has this type of resolutions present and for what use we are using we can modify that resolutions according to our research right last one is radiometric analysis what is radiometric resolution can you see there is a known as a color depth now look this image only can you see i have shown here the field of vegetation or the forest means what see the presentation background what i am talking about and you can see that trees are present there is a field of you know crop or something and you can see how it is seen with your naked eyes the sharpness of image right that is known as radiometric resolution so basically these are the various types of resolution now making you more clear student look at this image can you see what is the image it is first of all the black and white image right the black portion you can see is the river you can make it out because with the signature something like this is always a river even your eye can say that right other things you can see that there is some constructions are done this is black and white image so what it is called as technically panchromatic image right that consists only one band of data this is only one single band right that is why it is black and white because there are no various colors present into it now you can see here this is a spatial resolution image look at the image can you see there is a 10 meter resolution then 30 meter resolution and then you have 80 meter resolution now what is the difference you can make it out from the image yes look to the image very carefully at the 10 meter resolution can you see you can see all the features very clearly the red color the river the connecting of river right that is very clearly visible you can see and identify with your naked eyes itself right so that is 10 meter resolution right next you have the 30 meter resolution see you cannot properly identify the objects yes your eyes can see but they cannot properly identify it that is known as what that is known as 30 meter resolution spatial resolution so resolution is getting lower and come to the last one that is of 80 meter resolution which has the lowest resolution right so your eyes cannot see it is a blurred image can you see yes there is an image but it is a blurred image what we will do to that our eyes cannot identify so we will do and apply the digital image techniques on it and we will try to modify its resolution 
right so 10 meter will be having a less area coverage but clarity will be more when 30 meter resolution means it will be having the maximum area covered but resolution is less right getting less and in 80 meter area coverage will vary more but resolution is less so this is known as spatial resolution now look at this can you see yes can you make it out this is a spectral resolution why spectral look at it there are various bands available multi bands it is written see there is a combination done of the band means 4 3 2 3 2 1 so one image consists of five bands right or for if i talk about indian satellites or if i talk about least three sensor it will be giving us data in five bands right so in five bands we have various various bands so see here they have done the combination that four three two three two one and can you see i have shown here red blue and green color what does that mean basically basically i am setting that band into this colors so fourth band is red, second band is green, first band is blue. This is why I am arranging my band so I can get the various color information of the image. See, and what it is for my use, for my research work, for my analysis, I can use that band and combination and I can do the analysis of it. So these are the various image resolutions, right? Next, you can see here, what does it mean to the image? It is temporal. Look, here I have shown from January 81 to January, you can say 2015. Various, various periods I have taken. But what I have made the same? January month is same. So, can you see the difference clearly? This is known as phenomenal changes, temporal resolution. When I want to do that, I am going to use this many images and I am going to do the analysis of it. So see, what is the difference in 1981 and in January 2015? Now, I would like to give you here an example. You have heard that our Ahmedabad city, for example, I am taking any random city or I am just taking the Ahmedabad. You have heard that the proposed development plan of 2025 is right now being prepared by the Ahmedabad Municipal Corporation. Right? What does that mean actually? They are basically doing that, they are preparing, they are seeing the future, future requirement of the citizens of this city right so this is how you can do the temporal changes phenomenal changes and you can have the idea of it, what development is basically required can you see this this is changing the colors right basically this is a radiometric resolution how much color depth what is the color depth how it can be used right so basically it is showing us the color depth that it is green, the real image is green, white, well, the forest area image is there and they are changing the colors of it, right? Radiometric resolution. Radiometric resolution, this is the other example which you can see. See the sharpness of image. From all the images what I have shown, you can see the last image which came up is very sharp and clear with the colors and with the features. Right? So, how much clarity is the radiometric resolution will be having? That much clear image will be seen. So, how much big data is recorded? Which band is consisting? Which information? So, you can have the radiometric resolution. So, these are the various image resolutions which are being used in day to day life for the remote sensing purpose and to identify each and every feature. So now I guess you are clear that how this data extra extraction can be done or how this feature is identified and what is the main terminology related to that. It is the portion of signature. Every feature has its own signature, unique signature, right? But your human eye should identify it very clearly without any misconceptions. And basically the resolutions also help us a very broad way that each image and each resolution has different different characteristics and they are used accordingly thank you i guess you are clear with the session of data extraction and you are clear with the session of image resolution thank you